What's up, folks? It's your buddy, Fatal Brody. Tonight, we're going to be doing the SmackDown review. We started off with a recap of Clash of Champions. We then go to Daniel Bryan out in the ring. He cuts a promo about the women's Royal Rumble match and then says there's going to be a six-man tag match with Shinsuke Nakamura, AJ Styles, and Randy Orton versus Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, and Jinder Mahal. Bruh. No! No! God, nope. Please, no! Then Shane McMahon comes out. He talks to Daniel Bryan about the Clash of Champions match that they were refereeing. And Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon go back and forth debating their points on what happened in that match. Daniel Bryan then says, if you're going to be firing anybody, fire me, because I don't want to see Shane McMahon turn into Mr. McMahon. Shane McMahon then says, good luck tonight, good luck with the show, and then leaves. We then have our first match of the night, the Usos versus Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin. Jimmy and Jay both take turns beating on Chad Gable. Shortly after, Chad Gable tags in Shelton Benjamin. Then after the break, Benjamin's in control. He beats up on Jimmy Uso, and then Jay and Chad Gable tag in. They start fighting for a bit. Jay goes up to the top rope to do a splash, but Chad Gable gets his knees up, driving him into Jay's stomach. Chad goes for the pin and gets a two count. After a flurry of tags, Shelton Benjamin sets up Jay Uso in something that's reminiscent of the Legion of Doom's Doomsday device, and they get the pin. This is a pretty decent match. Hopefully, with everything coming along with the other tag teams, we can open this up and we can actually get a pretty good tag title program starting with somebody instead of seeing the same people over and over again. But like I said, this was a good match. I liked it. We then have Charlotte Flair coming out. She cuts a promo about the Women's Royal Rumble match. Then Naomi comes out and says that she's officially entering the Royal Rumble and that she'll be seeing Charlotte at WrestleMania. Then the Riot Squad comes out. And after a verbal back and forth between Naomi and the Riot Squad, Naomi calls out the Riot Squad to a match. So we have Charlotte Flair and Naomi versus Ruby Riot and Sarah Logan. This is a pretty decent match. There was quite a bit of back and forth between the two teams, quite a few quick tags. Liv Morgan gets up onto the apron to distract Naomi. And as Sarah Logan tried to charge Naomi, she got out of the way and she ended up driving her shoulder into Liv Morgan, knocking her off the ring. Naomi then got the rear view on Sarah Logan for the pin. Like I said, this was a pretty good match. I liked it with the Riot Squad, now part of SmackDown. Maybe we can open up the matches a little bit, just like the tag division. That way we're not seeing the same four people fighting each other over and over again. But again, good match. I liked it. Then we have Dolph Ziggler coming out to celebrate his United States title win. He cuts a promo about how he's the best at everything. Dude! Then we go through a quick history of all the belts that he's won. Then he asks the crowd if they want something to remember him by. Then strangely, he lays the United States title on the ground and then walks away. What? I'm not sure what this is meaning. Is he vacating the title? Is he quitting? Um, I don't know. This was a complete waste of time. We could have gotten a match in on this one. This segment just left more questions than it did anything else. We then have Daniel Bryan backstage, who's approached by Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. They're still celebrating of their win at Clash of Champions. Long and short, Daniel Bryan tells him to stop gloating or he'll fire them personally. Damn! We then have Rusev and Aiden English versus The New Day. This is the repetitious matches that I've been referring to. It was really kind of hard to take this match seriously. With everybody dressed up, we have Rusev Claus, Aiden the Snowman, the Kofi Bread Man, and Xavier the Red-Nosed Reindeer. What the fuck? It was a Christmas themed match. There was a whole bunch of shtick going on. It was ridiculous. It was, I don't know, crowd service, I guess you want to call it. Like I said, it was hard to take this match seriously with everything that was going on. But Xavier Woods got an elbow drop from the top rope on Aiden English for the pin. We then come to our main event, Shinsuke Nakamura, Randy Orton, and AJ Styles versus Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, and Jinder Mahal. Almost immediately, a brawl started off between everybody. Fighting in the ring, then we go outside of the ring. Randy Orton dropped Jinder Mahal onto the announcer's table. Randy Orton gets Jinder Mahal back into the ring, tries to pin, gets two count. Later in the match, AJ Styles and Kevin Owens are tagged in. AJ tries to hit the ropes, but Jinder Mahal pulls him and he falls down to the mat. AJ Styles gets beat up quite a bit by the other three opponents. Shinsuke Nakamura then tags in, starts to take over. Then another brawl starts. The Singh brothers are ejected from the ringside. They try to get back in. Randy Orton does a draping DDT to both of them, and Shinsuke Nakamura gets a Kinshasa on Sami Zayn for the pin. This is also a pretty decent match as well. Although we've seen these six people fighting each other in some combination or another, we need to get this storyline broken up, we need to move them on to other things. But apart from the repetition of seeing these people fighting each other in one form or another, this is actually a pretty good match. This is a pretty good SmackDown. Apart from the Aiden English, Rusev, and New Day match, 
everything was actually pretty decent. The Dolph Ziggler segment, like I said, raised more questions than anything. If they were just going to do that, I don't know. I mean, like I said, I thought it was a waste of time. We could have gotten a match in somewhere. But it was a good SmackDown. I liked it. Still no word on if there's going to be any type of a heel turn, face turn, in regards to Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, Shane McMahon, and Daniel Bryant. That whole thing is up in the air. Who's, go who's doing what? We'll figure that out, hopefully, by Royal Rumble. But I'll do it for the SmackDown review. Leave a comment down below what you thought of tonight's SmackDown, what you thought of this video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share and subscribe. I've been Fatal Roadie. You've been awesome. Thank you very much for watching. And remember, if it's too loud, you're too old. See ya.